It thrived in the illegal drinking clubs or speakeasies that flourished in the Prohibition era. The speakeasies did a land office business. Texas Guinan with her gals kept customers roaring. Duke Ellington was the star turn at Harlem's legendary Cotton Club, a few hundred yards from the Savoy Ballroom. The Cotton Club was owned by British-born gangster Oni Madden, one of New York's most influential and violent citizens. Jazz has always originated in places that allowed it to nurture. Like, in, it was always in either uh, in whorehouses, nightclubs that had a lot of drinking, had a lot of dancing, but most of all, places that were run by the rackets, gangsters, basically. And they loved jazz musicians because it was happy music that made people feel good. And for some reason, I never knew any jazz musicians that worked in those places that had any trouble with the gangsters at all. We were in the Cotton Club for five years. Mm. We had a wonderful spot. It was owned by people who uh, were very influential and uh, prestigious with having things accomplished. And um, the, the great thing was about it that when the show on, and they did have a wonderful show, no one was allowed to talk. And uh, some guy would start talking, rap, 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 rap. And the waiter would come over, sir, would you please? And then the next thing, he'd go on, and the next thing, the captain would come over, and say, and the next thing you know, the head waiter would come, and then the next thing you know, the guy would just disappear. <laughs> <laughs> that, of course, was the, the, in, in the, what, the Prohibition era, wouldn't it? Yes. By that time, yeah. Did you have any trouble with federal, federal agents or anything like that? You know? Federal agents? Yeah. No. No, I didn't. I, uh, there was never another, another, anything left for them to confiscate. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.